Merch alert. That's right. You heard her. We have merch now. If you're looking for a mug, a hoodie, a shirt, a blanket, we're your people. Be sure to check out our exclusive I Was a Bravo Fan Before Scandaval tees. They will be perfect to wear while watching the VPR reunion. Check out the link in the description of the podcast or our Instagram bio. Hi, I'm Kaya. And I'm Aaron, and we're Black. Bravo, we're Black, that is. Yeah, at Bravo Love Black on all platforms. I don't know why we're talking like this, but we are here. It is the pop culture episode. If you're listening to this, it is Wednesday, okay? You are already halfway through the week. Mm -hmm. We're about to go into a new month. I know the bills is due, and the bills is billing. But you are here, and you are alive. So we are here together, and we're going to try to make your week a little bit better by talking about some things that we are watching and some things that we hope that you're watching, too. Okay, um, we're definitely going to do our black excellence. And Ooh, uh, yes. we did not do it last week. Last week, we were the black excellence, but we had some things to get to. You know, we had the secret lives of Mormon wives. We had, you know, we had some things to talk about. Um, but this week, my black excellence is going to is related to what we're going to be talking about, which is Mary J. Blige, because mm-hmm. I saw her on the Sherry Shepherd show and she announced that she's going to be going on tour with Neo and Mario. So it's like if you go to see Mary J. Blige, you're going to see Mary J. Blige. But then you also get like, and then you also get Mario. He just let me love you. Like, what a treat! Not only that, she announced that she's releasing an album. And frankly, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. All I do care about is power. And I know that Monet is stepping on bitches Mm -hmm. in power like she's been so good in these new episodes in the whole series period but in the new episodes especially i'm just like what is monet going to do how is she going to figure it out like she killed both her baby daddies her daughter got you know a lot of things going on which we'll get into her son has moved out and is about to make a mistake which we'll get into her other son literally went to jail and like got out and is on a side quest she is holding it down and obviously she's mary j blige like multi hyphenate clearly um so yes mary j blige is definitely my black excellence and i think that i had someone in mind that i literally was going to say that i have on the tip of my tongue but i completely forgot who it was so i'll pass it over to aaron my my excellence i also don't blame you for mary j blige because that's exactly how i want to be when i get older like Mm -hmm. mary j blige is just like the perfect balance of like i don't give a fuck and you're gonna respect me Period. And, and I she's love that. Stomping in her and she's stomping. And she's the same. Like, I feel like Monet is a character, but Mary J. Blige is something different. Like, that's a force. Oh, like, absolutely. And she's been around you. our entire lives. Yeah. Which is very hard to do. And I'm not talking about just being around, I'm talking about being relevant. Her, yeah. Taraji, you know, like. Mm-hmm they're like best friends nearly and it's so good to see and like what they represent for black women women in general women empowerment and how she like she went through a whole i think she it was her who went through that like divorce, like a really bad divorce yeah right? yeah nasty. she went through a really bad divorce and she came back and then she even got her own boot line she's acting which she was in umbrella academy And I thought that that was such a cool role for her because I would never think that she'd be in, like, this superhero comic, weird, alternative kind of show. I really loved Mm -hmm. Umbrella Academy, even though that last season was terribly botched. (laughs) That last season was shit. Nothing but shit. They dropped the damn ball with that last season. Terrible fumbled it especially the series finale my god but like just seeing her act i don't have any knowledge well not knowledge but i don't that's my reference of her acting until she went on power and she really showed me how 
it's done. So it's acting, it's you can say down, we've been knew that. And then you know what I did notice though? She's not the most like <laughs> she's not mean, but it's just like when she's on the Sherry show, it's very much I'm no. just gonna answer the question that you asked me and that's it. Like she's not like a friend, like you know, like she's friends with her friends and work is that's work, how I wanna be and that's it. Like and and I love that that clip of her promoting her boot when the guy's like, and who am I speaking to? And she's like, Mary J. Blige. <laughs> exactly. She just she's just like I am who I am. I you know, and that's what I want to be like. Me. Like fuck that. After a while, that's what you're gonna get. She put in too much time. It's like all the right. laughs. All the laughs that I've given and people have looked at me like, that's what you're going to get when I get older. Because no, you're not going to get that anymore. You just get tired of it. Get straight to the point. Her art and her work speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who is yours? Mine is actually going to go to uh, the cast of Noah's Ark because they are officially coming back next year. I know we got the Corona Chronicles. You re Y'all remember when COVID first came back? Mm -hmm. um, we got that on YouTube. It was a nice special. And it was cute, but Noah's Ark fans, we want it more. And if you don't know, it's a, it's a gay show that's been on Logo for a very long time. Then they moved it over to YouTube for a bit. And I do believe that you can stream it on Paramount Plus as well. But they're officially coming back next year for a movie. The whole cast is gonna, is coming back. Um, they're showing like a lot of behind the scenes stuff now. I guess because they want to get you prepared for it because it was supposed to be something coming out this year between last year and this year. Yeah, because and, you have been telling me about this for a yeah, while. Nothing came out. I guess because of the strike and there were a few other things going on so you know people don't really want to spend mm. money on content that they don't think is going to sell immediately yes. which i think it's crazy because you should definitely invest into the queer community and also look around at the shows that we're producing now some of them are not quality some of them are just shows that i feel like they might just be like tax write-offs they're so trash so i think that this show has a loyal fan base mm -hmm. and they should take a chance on it and see what happens because it could either be good or be bad, but at least like give them, you know, the chance to come back because they have those people that are waiting for them. They do. They do. And the whole cast, they look really good. So that's going to actually be my first black excellence. I have uh, two more and yes. that's going to go to Christina Aguilera okay. because that 25th really anniversary good. You look the fuck good. You sounded the fuck good. Sabrina Carpenter, I really love you. That's why you're going to be my third. Like, because you're just <laughs> in... You're just in a whole bunch of shit. Like, she has this Netflix special coming. The Christmas one coming. Absolutely. You did your thing at the um the, the Video Music Awards. Like, And her album is cute. Like, it is definitely pop. And I pop. like Chapel Roan. She's cute, and you know, she's doing her thing, but I'm talking about pop. Yeah. Sabrina Carpenter, and also, she's been around, like, the blog. She's from Disney Channel. She's not new. Do so you like Good teams. Graces? Because oh, that's my shit. Absolutely. <laughs> that is my shit. Like, I will stamp that on anything. Like, absolutely. Good I want. I really wanted her to switch the song and be like, I'm just going to sing Good Graces. But I do know that she was honoring Christina Aguilera and it's like it's only so much that you can do when you're by Christina Aguilera no that's like anyone unless you are you yeah. know you know a certain couple. so it's, it's yeah just like she's she's Sabrina Carpenter and I, I feel like for that. black people like our voice would be like Whitney Houston if she was still here like mm -hmm. if you're gonna sing that to Whitney Houston it's just not gonna it's happen it's like okay I'm just gonna go with the flow you know I'm just gonna <laughs> kind of like let you and you could tell that's what she was doing but it's like Okay, I can't go like that. I can't do like that. <laughs> but I respect you, girl, and I love you. Um, but she exactly. sounded good as hell. So those are my black excellences. Um those are great black excellences. I loved it. I had that shit on 80. <laughs> and then I really want to talk shit about my mom too, because she said that <gasps> what I she am was not like a part of this part. Oh, Christina Aguilera wasn't all that. 
But mama, I really remember when Christina Aguilera came out with that Christmas album and you bumped that shit till it like literally got scratched up in the CD player. So don't tell me what Christina Aguilera can and can't do. Like Absolutely. my my how people forget. And I just found that very funny. And I'm like, do you need me to go in your room and pull out that Christmas CD that you pull out every year? And she just got quiet. Everybody's on mute all of a sudden. But that's you guys might want to pick up a smoking habit also, because I really do feel like what? Beyonce is going to sell us cigars. Like, I know we said it as a joke, like, last week, but... Mm-hmm. The way these these new photos are looking, it's like, damn, she's trying yeah. to turn me into a man. Like, Did you I'm see her in the whiskey, suit? I'm smoking cigars and I have asthma. Like, and I'm gonna buy it, of course. Yeah. But you see those new pictures? I want to be like the married to medicine husbands. Like, we need to go to a cigar lounge everywhere we, I I go. I'm gonna have a cigar. I might light one up here. And just start smoking it and coughing in your ears. We might get some branded BWB cigars for the ones who can't afford the, I hope so. the sacred cigars. I don't think they're going to be... Maybe some Black and Miles with BWB. <laughs> that would be so ghetto. Like The wine flavored ones. What do I know about that? I don't know. But guys... What should we get into first? Um, I just think that obviously we're huge power fans. Power is about to end literally next mm-hmm. week, series finale. And this has been an ongoing show for what the original power came on. We just celebrated 10 years, 2014. This has been a show that has expanded 10 years, a decade of my life. We've known these people i feel like we've seen tariq grow up and kind of also grew up with tariq because it's we're in a mm-hmm. weird spot where like we weren't really adult adults when the show came out but we also weren't kids either so we're like half growing up with tariq and half tariq is so much younger than us but power has just been such a staple in black households that i really hate to see that it's ending and i wish that it wasn't ending but hopefully the new power that they're working on or the new channel or studio whatever 50 cent has going on continues that with these same exact actors because they're just so good and the story is there and you can tell by the way uh that a lot of the things that are happening on power they're trying to set up some things for the next season, which they thought was going to happen for sure, but they ended up canceling it because they could not come to negotiations. And I felt like, look at these actors, whatever they wanted, you should have paid, especially because stars don't have shit on there that I'd be watching. Like Mm -hmm. I say, every time we start talking about power and talking about this, it's like, what do you watch on stars? Because the pink ain't even, I don't even know if the pink exists anymore. I don't see have they have they been filming? Is yeah, P Valley P Valley is filming now. I, I want to say that they're almost about to wrap up, but um they've been keeping it under wraps, which normally means it's gonna be a really good season. Whenever a show does that, nine out of ten times they come back really strong. And I don't doubt it because you've had two years to do so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, power is coming every year on time. You know, this year they they broke it up, but with a, a certain shows, it's just like, come on now. Um, I want to say because a lot of people are saying that it has something to do with this writer strike, but honestly, I feel like at this point, a lot of people are using that as an excuse. Yeah, the writer strike was yeah. like a year ago. It's like, over. Even X Men ninety seven is has a slate for twenty twenty six. Did you see that? You're lying. I'm not. For 2026. Yeah. And that's how I feel about Invincible too. Like for a cartoon. And I'm guessing, I don't know if it has anything to do with uh Bo. Bo, but um yeah, they're like 20. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it does have something to do with Bo because if you're losing a creative that good, then you're gonna have to get like 10 people to replace because the way that that season bumped 
it's crazy. But yeah, so um, power, let's start with power. Obviously, we ended off with Diana, you know, she was finding out that she was pregnant and it was Tariq's mm-hmm. baby and they were just ready to basically just like raise it together. Both of them had visions of what they wanted. Diana wanted a life without crime. Tariq wanted to be the biggest drug dealer in the goddamn city, like his daddy. Okay. Uh, you know, Brayden, he is with the crackhead girl who has sickle cell. Thanks for that representation. And that time of her. I just wish she would have just not woke up. Like, just kill her I agree because it's like not kill her off outside when we get there because it's like I have so much to say about her. So annoying, yeah. So that's that's that was Braden's storyline. I guess fuck his family, right? Like, like uh, Braden, they hate Braden's only thing is this crackhead girl and now being a crackhead, which is like at least Tommy. Tommy would do coke, but he would be about that action. Tommy had things going on everywhere. He had a no. Braden's life. like I want to perform. He had work. <laughs> Got on stage. He's like, I want to perform. I want to go. Um, with obviously Monet, she's trying to get back on the good graces of her, you know, on the good side of her kids after they found out that they that she killed their father. Um, yeah, and a lot of things go going on. Kane, he was, you know, with Noma, but also um Method Man, he was also dating Noma at the same time so that is crazy and she's basically trying to figure out how she's going to have her citizenship and get the contract for the jet parts and be you know a huge criminal in the United States we pick back up and we see that basically you know Michael Ely's character who is he's a crooked cop but he thinks that he's kind of like you know I'm going after the big fishes so with the little fish you're going to pay me and you're going to get me, you know, the big fish so I can focus on right. them. And I'm still going to pocket it. And I kind of like have you on the string because this is New York and I got it. like, who's going to, who are, are people going to believe a crooked cop, which they don't know is crooked or a known criminal. So obviously he has people on the string in that way. And everything that someone does, he, he knows like his people report back to him. Uh, he even ended up getting away with killing the con- congressman tate's brother which i yeah. thought that was crazy that was insane that's when i knew well i already knew but during yeah. that time i was like oh he has to die now like because <laughs> you're doing too much and he's getting on my nerves like i want to take him out myself honestly yeah he is a big part of like of like why people aren't really moving the way that they usually would move because it's like okay well we all have this common enemy now uh they killed like the drug dealer dude who owned the club you know drew got uh, he arrested michael ely's character arrested drew and made him perform like things in jail which I so is such a crazy like side side quest for drew and then he comes out of jail and he's like i'm working with the crooked cop now so now we have drew working with the crooked cop um diana she got pressed by the crooked cops other co-worker who it turns out that she was on drugs and basically michael ely told told uh the crooked cop to go and kill the guy who owned the club she told diana to do it when she found out that diana didn't do it she beat her up and diana ended up losing her and Tariq's baby of oh. course she did not take that lightly and she's like i'm going to get revenge for and you killing my child and i didn't think that she had it in her i don't know why i just didn't think that diana was about it but she did the damn thing but when she killed the cop she didn't realize that the cop had a whole son upstairs in the same house so of course she calls Tariq which I love that because it's like oh, let me call my nigga because Tariq <laughs> literally gets shit done he does <laughs> he, get, he gets it done period and you know Monet ends up finding out Drew ends up coming and the, the cop comes and I'm just like when Michael Ely came to the house I'm like oh my god what's gonna happen but he makes them a deal like okay well you guys are still on the hook you know, for me, <laughs> with me now. So, what do you think about all these things happening? This is the final season of the show. This is 
We're in the home stretch mm-hmm. now. They've opened up so many different Pandora boxes because they thought that they would, be, you know, continue to, you know, continue the show multiple years. But it's still good. It just feels like we're not going to have enough time to wrap mm-hmm. things up. That's exactly how I feel about it because there's so much happening and there's so many things that I'm concerned about. I'm like, does this, and so many things that they, I feel they're alluding to, I don't know if this means like Diana might go outside of the business and adopt a child of Detective Felicia because I noticed she's been keeping tabs on that child, like visiting the child at the playground. Could this be the child, you know, that she uses to fill the void of her losing her baby? I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I I don't know, like, I don't even know what custody the child is in. They didn't really explain that. And that's what I'm concerned about, too. Um, as far as the crooked cops, I cannot believe that he made a deal with Noma. That's what mm-hmm. surprised me the most, honestly, because it's like, I understand that. And, and I didn't think it was going to happen the way it happened, but um, it seems that Monet and... Noma tried to bribe his detective, the only detective that he has left on his side, the crooked cop. And she paid him good money. And he ended up turning against her and letting the crooked cop, Michael Ely, know what's, what was going on. So he was the one that showed up to the deal when it came down to Noma meeting the uh, his detective. And I got me because I thought that because his deputy or whatever you could call him, his yeah. co-worker, he was questioning him. Like, are we sure this is the guy that took out Tate? Are we sure that this is really what happened? Are we sure that the girl died of a, a, a car crash, the one that killed, um, you know, that mm-hmm. Diana killed? And I'm just like, ooh, it seems like he might want to turn on Michael Lee's character. But when he showed up and said, I'm like, oh, damn. He really yeah. is like that guy. But you know what the thing is? I feel like that detective is going to come in handy because I feel like he might be on the bridge between Monet finding out what's going on between Michael Ely and Noma. Like Ooh. he might be he might be an informant for Monet. Okay. Um, Because that's weird. I don't feel like he would overthink what was going on like he did because uh, Michael Ely set it up. Um, He killed what is the guy's name again? Detective Kate, not Detective Governor Tate's brother? Yeah. I don't know his name. I just call him his brother. Yeah, his brother. So he killed his brother and now he set it up and he has people thinking that the Russians did it, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And now that it's set up that the Russians did it, his detective was kind of like looking at him like, that's spooky. That's like suspicious. It makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So it's like, I don't think they would show that and show him kind of like, like being questioning, like, you know, like questioning two and two together, like, if he's not going to do anything about it. Like, I feel like it's going to come into play later. So that's why I'm keeping a close eye on him because I'm like, well, what side are you going to go to? Are you going to like go for justice and join the known criminals or are you going to stick with Michael Ely in the in the cricket detectives mm-hmm. it's it's like i really don't know where he's going to stand in that whole thing yeah totally um but that's one of my concerns as far as diana i feel like that was enough like she's proved herself to me i don't need to see her anymore drew yeah she can kind of like kind of ride off into the sunset yeah Drew, like you did what you need to do. Okay, so what did you think about Drew? They 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 arrested Drew to have them do some dirty work because one of the guys was about to snitch, um, and he killed someone in jail. But then when he got out of jail, he thought that he was going to be able to, uh, you know, just say, you, you know what, my family is no longer on the table. Leave us alone. Instead, Michael Ely again flipped it and was like, no, no, he worked for me. And he's just yeah. now running things for when they had the guy, you know, in place that runs the club. Now Drew runs the club. And the club has been shut down because we'll, we'll get to, uh, you'll get to mm-hmm. Noma and Kane later because Noma and Kane freaking bought it. So yeah. what do you think about Drew's, like, arc? And in prison, I did like him. I thought he was doing a good job, like, strangling people. I thought it was very different for his character. 
But the only thing that kind of pissed me off is now they have him on this Michael Jackson jacket, and it's kind of weird. I don't know what they're going for. I feel like they always make Drew's character cringe. Like, even when he does something cool, they find a way to make it cringe. It's the same thing with like Kane. Also, you know what? For men, like, men don't really have makeup like that that really, like, change them. Mm-hmm. But a haircut could go a long fucking way. <laughs> and I'm just like, cut his hair on the sides. Mm-hmm. Fade his hair, please. See, because and he, I can relate. It's Within different. The two days. It's literally back. You literally, <laughs> you have two days. It's like literally like the Cinderella curse. You got two <laughs> days to take the best pictures and stunt. After the it's second day, too much. It's just like, how do you have time to literally go and get the thriller jacket and run a club and you know decide that this is who you are now, but you can't get a fucking haircut? I would like to know. They're also making uh, Kane cringe too, which is what I said. Like, I don't understand that whole thing because. Um, he just keeps popping up out of nowhere, I feel. He's torn between I'm gonna know, be honest too. To... Oh, go ahead. It's the Yolanda Adams video. You're so annoying. Have you That's seen what it? it is, though. It has nothing to do with the show. Have you seen it? Yes, I have had to see it because people won't stop people it's like you. Stressing me the hell out. Why? Ever He's since smoking. I've seen it. I don't feel Do right about him, him being before, on the show. Before Power, he was literally Bobby Brown. Like, I don't want to... That was fine, but the Yolanda Adams video was a lot. Okay, tell me what... what Because you look like your Power character. And it's like, you're doing all these dances and He's it's like, wait until the show is over to do this. Don't do it now. So technically up. A lot of people had a problem with it, and I was one of those people. And I tried to ignore it. I really did. I seen it a few times, and I tried. That's the problem. Why would you watch it multiple times? It was. I was disgusted. Disgusted? I was disgusted. Like I don't know. It was just so cringe to me. Like, and I love Yolanda Adams. I love. (laughs) I don't know what it was. It was too much for me. You know, on Instagram, if you scroll up, I kept scrolling up, and then I would scroll back, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, stop. I'm telling your mom. I told her the same thing. Like, it's very cringe. Even she's like, wow. (laughs) Because it's a lot. Like it's a lot. We get and he can dance, but it was just a lot for me. So ever since that, I just don't take him seriously. I want him to go, honestly. <laughs> like who do you okay, so wait, let's just talk a little bit about him. He has decided that he is going to marry Noma so Noma can get citizenship and get like a jet parts contractor or whatever. He also is torn because he he wants Effie. Um, and it seems I'm that he finally wants him back. And I kind of want... <laughs> Who are you? Okay, so I'm just trying to... Because it's like Effie... Tell what's going on, and you're like, I'm tired of them. They need to go. I'm, I'm tired. tired of... <laughs> I'm tired. I like Tariq, okay? I was I like... going to say, who can stay? I like Tariq. I like okay. Noma. I'm okay with Diana. I love you said Monet. that she can go into the. You said, said that she can go, but I'm a, over. Like, I'm okay with her. She's you done. know, she hasn't done anything to piss me off. But like Drew and Kane, they piss me off. What do you think about Drew? I mean, not Drew, Kane's storyline as getting married to Noma, and you know how he likes Effie. That's also, gonna get him killed. What really kind of pissed me off about Kane? It wasn't really just the young Londa Adams video. It's just like, why do you still have the police's suit that you killed in like season two? 
Now that and was actually also, funny, and it made when, me cackle. When he was like, "No, it was funny," but I was come like, here, Caucasian male. Caucasian male, like what? What? And the lady's like, seems seems you know regular. He is Caucasian male. She just Thanks, did the thumbs male. up. She's like, "Come back. <laughs> See you soon." I make a mean fish dip, but. <laughs> Yeah, that that was the only part where I was like, okay, that was kind of smooth, but um, yeah, I just feel like it, th- what really pissed me off too was the scene of Diana in the hospital, and Monet walks in the room and out of nowhere, like he just comes out of a corner, came, yeah, and he's like, are you okay? But that's literally how I I hate to say this, that's literally how Big Brothers are. Like they just come out of nowhere, and you're like, "Where have you been? I have almost died." And they'll be like, "Yeah, but you straight though, right?" They were like, in the no, shadow realm. I'm not straight. Where the fuck have you been, bro? Like, They've been hiding behind the picture about? frames. And it's just like they. Co- How did you even know where to find me? And they're just That's like, what "Straight, I right?" Know. He's like, "You good, right?" And she's like, "No." Like, no. I just lost not. my damn baby. What do you think? Because Detective, whatever her name is, was on a coke binge. Do you know like, what are you going to do about what it? What type like, of coke was that also? At least. Where you kick whatever. a bitch in the stomach. Like, what type of coke is that where you push somebody down on garbage bags and you just like <laughs> stomp the fuck out of them? Like, what kind of coke is that? Especially when the job that you wanted to get done is done. So was that necessary? It was just weird for me because it's like, okay, we get it once you put her down, but why do you have to go and just do use the excessive force? And then another thing is that she was saying that she didn't know that Diana was pregnant, but I don't know if you noticed this, and I want to know if other people noticed this. They had a scene where the detectives come into Monet's house, and they had just been shopping. So the detectives came in the house, and they saw a bunch of baby stuff. So you you didn't know that she was pregnant? She was you, too high. You didn't care. She was too high. She's like thirsty as hell. She's coming in the house dehydrated and shit. <laughs> Pouring glasses of fucking Zephyr Hills, and she's like, <clears throat> "Are you okay?" She she's burped, like, "Sorry like, about, on. sorry about pushing the shit out of you, but like that's my job, and and you know, and I want to work together. But can you do this for me?" Insane. Okay, so I think the the person who we should be talking about the most that we're actually talking about the least is Tariq. Where do you see his arc going? Because I feel like we kind of lost the plot when it comes to Tariq because he's so involved with everyone Mm. else's shit that it's like, okay, it was good to see Tasha. I love when they finally get get them in scenes together because it just feels right and they have that chemistry there and it's good to see him with his mom and he gets to see his little sister and he gets grounded. But as far as what he's doing, I forget that he's even in school because then they'll randomly show him in class. Well, I think the meaning of life is, and I'm like, wait, what? But what are you doing? When are you going to graduate? Tariq is going, going to jail. Monique is going to jail too. I mean, not Monique, Monet. Uh, okay. Monet and Tariq. That's where I see it ending. I feel like Kane's going to die. Monet and Tariq are going to jail. Okay. Um, and Brayden's probably gonna go to jail too. Damn, a Rico. Yeah, I feel like that's what's gonna happen because it's like number one, Tariq is involving himself in too much. It's too much. He has like twenty four things against him. Exactly. Twenty four murder, like murder charges, illegal things. You're going to prison. Then he goes with Brayden because Brayden's Brayden, crackhead whore. It's that damn coke. Brayden's I don't like, know. come on, we're going to go and we're going to press the guy who gave my girlfriend the bad coke because his girlfriend OD'd and she's in the hospital. And he went and they were just supposed to like rough him up. Brayden ends up killing him just like that. And Tariq is like, we don't need another body. What the fuck are you doing? And he's like, no, bro, you don't tell me what to do. 
<laughs> um, and it's just it's weird. Like I don't know what's in this Coke. Again, like I'm like, what the hell do they put in this Coke? It's laced. It, it has to be laced with like Monster Energy powder. Must be, or like a fucking Mighty Kids meal. <laughs> what? Like it's just too what? much power. What? When was the last time you had a Mighty Kid smell? Never. Like probably like over a decade ago. Did it not make you feel strong as fuck? Probably. Yeah. Especially it's like whenever you get and, and if you, you had those the, apple you got slices. The milk and apple slices instead of the fucking I'm like, I can move anything right mountains. now. Just That's tell like me when I was when. like in, in kindergarten and my brothers wanted a little brother instead of a little sister, so they would always buy me boy stuff. So they would buy me Jordans, but then like they had like those Jordans that had like the pump on them, like in, mm-hmm. in the front or whatever. I used to in PE class and to this day, before I would go on my run in PE, I would I'm press them bitches them. out and I was the fastest motherfucker on the planet. Call but the thing flash. that got me is when you pumped them up so far and they would not go down. That's <laughs> when it got scary for me. You got to run it off. Because my mom's like, you better find a way Put to down. get those bitches no. down. And like, you don't understand the like science. The amount of whoopings I got for that. <laughs> because they would not go down for whatever reason. Oh my gosh. But guys... Oh, yeah, man. it's a lot going on. So I'm scared for Monet too because it's like I don't want this to be the end of Monet Tahada. Like, I enjoy Monet's character so much. I really want to see her fight Noma. I want to see a fight with Noma before the season ends. I need to see a fight now. I want to see Mary J. Blige slap the shit out of Noma. It was too much. Like, first you roped all of us in, but then you're going to marry my son. I don't care how stupid he is. And then call her mom when you're like the same age. And you're also married to the guy from the Fresh Prince. (laughs) That's like outside the show. (laughs) But I feel like she didn't buy Mary J. Blige's boots. So that is another problem itself. I feel like if we can involve the Yolanda Adams video, we can talk about the fact that Bel Air. I won't say anything anymore. (laughs) Because <laughs> you made a valid point. <laughs> That's valid. Oh my god. Because that left a really strange like feeling inside of me. Like I don't know what I don't know. It just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm still not over the fact that you used the word disgusted. Like I was. Please. I was like, this shit is in different areas. Like this is something that's it's too much. It's crazy. Um, but who do you okay? So we there's... should do our final predictions next week. We should do the final predictions, but I want to ask you so so far, yes. who do you feel? Because you know there has to be a big death. Somebody gonna die. Who do you feel is the person that's going to die? Can we do a person people that you no, want to die? The people who gonna die. Who do you think is going <laughs> to die? I think Tariq's gonna die. Oh my god. And that's what I'm not ready for. Tariq? I think that he's going to die. I don't see Tariq dying. At first when you said it, I was like, mm, maybe. But I honestly just see him going to prison. I see him like I see them being like, you have a thousand charges against you. You're going <laughs> to prison tonight. And I see them being like, no bond. Just forget about How it. How could yeah, no lawyer. Don't not even worry lawyer about it. Power and not method. Method man can't get you out of this. Like method man does is what is method man? He's going do? down. Like everybody, I predict what's you gonna happen. Going to jail. Everybody is gonna go to jail. Method They're man's going to, to jail. No one's going to jail. No one's daughter's going to jail. Wait, her going daughter's to jail. Going her to daughter's jail? going to because she's an associate and she doesn't even know it. She's <laughs> going God. to jail. Everybody's. Um, they're gonna get what's her name from three LW. She's going to jail. Tasha's going. Tasha's to jail. going to jail. <laughs> Tasha's daughter, the sister, she's gonna be in jail. I heard her to go to jail. Yeah, because she's too big to be running just, around that house like that. Yeah, like go do like, some homework. Been, I remember you from the original Power. Grow up. Where's Raina? Dead. 
What Please. if Raina comes back and be like, I'm not really dead. You thought it was ghost that was coming back? Not the three fingers. <laughs> you guys are all going to fucking jail tonight. And she's so like, I'm a cop. I hope it's worth it. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Ignorance. Okay, you so... guys didn't even look for me. <laughs> well, you were dead, bitch. Like, you're annoying. Like, who goes? I know that you. I'm you not going to say that ghost is alive. <laughs> And we know that you think it, though. Like, you've already made this clear. I'm not going to say that Ghost is alive, but I'm like, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> what else? Tell me, baby, what else? Like, where is... who? Like, what is going to be the kicker? Because Tariq's going to jail. Like, that I know. I don't, I'm so confident in that Tariq is going to prison. <laughs> I could do my predictions right now. Well, but then next week I'll say the same thing again. <laughs> Don't do your predictions just yet. Let's watch the episode before okay. the final episode. But I'm telling you guys, to recap. Everything Patrick, can change in a new if it is York up to minute. That lady, what's her name? Which lady? Tariq St. Patrick and Monique Tahana. If it's oh, up I to forgot her, about her. She's every, still in there? Yeah, Blanca. She's literally... And she's been quiet for a reason. I forgot about her completely. She's been quiet for a reason. Because Michael Ely and his eyes... His and he's been eyes. pissing me off because he's so good looking. He's, yeah, and I'm like, like damn. Talking about? Yeah, I will work with you. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. You can tell Monet is like... <laughs> that's why because I'm like why is Monet just kind of like going along with everything why isn't she scheming why isn't she getting up like you know some hoodlums to go kill him or she's like up? shit I she's wish like, things he's kind of fine like, things oh, could be different out. they can work out in the end and now um the daddy that just got killed well the stepdad um Zeke's real dad he's on that new show um <laughs> Yeah, the new show, I think it was on like, it's on NBC or CBS about that mom who's like a she's like a mom and she's They've also like a cleaner. So much promo behind that show. I still like half of the first episode. The and it wasn't bad until they just started to get repetitive. Like I get she's smart, but this is a different smart. <laughs> like what every is it? scene, like she walks in the room and she automatically clocks something that someone who's been doing the job for years. She's cleaning up and she's like, "Oops!" And she knocks down all these pictures that is on like the board, you know, where they like they do the case. And she's like, mm -mm, "This isn't right." And she puts them together and she like <laughs> solves the murder, I guess. And she's like, "This is what's happening." So the person that you have as the suspect is really not the suspect. So they like practically take her into custody and they're like do you know that you're going to jail and then the lady from claws what's her name the oh, one that, that i couldn't stand crazy Ann. oh She's on crazy Ann. oh my gosh i can't like ever since claws i just don't like her guys i'm going through it this week okay <laughs> but i just do not you like her. everyone this week but she calls her out and she's like, actually, no, you're not going to go to jail if you can tell me why you feel the way you feel. And then... Like, how did you know that? Explain. She ends up explaining and Crazy Ann's like, you know what? She's right. So she's not going to go to jail. As a matter of fact, she's going to help us solve this case. And everybody's I mean, like... Fair. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the force. And they look at her like that every scene. Because she knows everything, so they're like... And then they look at the camera, and it's just, like, really awkward. I'm like, <laughs> what do you want us to do as the viewers? She's smart. Clap. You like, want you to be like, we've never seen anything She's like so it. smart. And then every scene, they look at the cameras, and they're like... Google the name of the show. So we can tell people what we're talking about. Because all I know is I, I see the previews like every time I'm on Peacock and I'm like, I get it. Or if, if I'm on Paramount Plus, I'm like, I High get potential. It. That's what it's called. I didn't even have to look that far. 
and she Hi. literally just like brings her on the commercial. She like just brings her baby to the crime scene. And yeah, she's and he's like, like, "I'm a mom, mom." And she's like, "Yeah, but I'm here, and I gotta solve this case. So eat a lunchables." <laughs> So high potential. I don't know how you made your way onto this podcast, but if you guys are into that type of thing where it's like every scene, this lady knows uh-huh. it all, and she has yeah, like if they got Whitney Rose to play her, it would be different. Like I would be more open to this. She kind of looks like Kaylee Cool. cool, cool, cool yeah, cool, she's cool, like cool. a mix of her and like. I thought it was Kaylee Kuoko at the first like glance, but then I was like, this is not Kaylee Kuoko. She looks it's like crazy. a mix of Kaylee Kuoko and like Renezza May. <laughs> okay. We have to get to Basketball Lives and then you can tell us about your show. Basketball Lives had the reunion. We didn't really find out any new information though. Only thing that really happened was there was like resolution and Jackie is fine with everyone because they're just like, it's just Jackie, wacky Jackie. And then we hear the audio of um, Evelyn talk about how she didn't want Jennifer to marry Christian because she's worried. She's genuinely worried about him. And we did see that no one, none, none of the people, shout out to, I think it was like reality TV recaps, I think the pages. Shout out to that page. I think it is. If it's not, it has a reality in it. But no one from the cast of Basketball Wives went to the wedding. Yeah, so? I didn't go either. <laughs> Were you invited? Um, <laughs> like, I wonder, like, fucking bitch, don't fucking put me on the spot like that. I wonder why they didn't show up, though. Like, okay. were they not invited? Maybe their invitations went the same place mine did. No, because I think that. The same, and then Evelyn posted like a message on her Instagram the day of. But I think that it was his idea. Like your friends don't even want me to marry you. Why would you actually even? Oh yeah, that's true. Because I won't want blah, anybody blah. at my wedding who's like fuck that man. So I think that that is kind of like what happened. And also Jennifer is seriously just so hell bent on marrying this man. Like everyone, like everyone is trying to tell you don't marry him. God himself locked him up the week before your wedding and you were just like I don't care if he gets out we're getting married period and I don't get it like he is fine but he's not pay your restitution and marry you and literally like not sign a prenup what is he doing though like there has to be something going on like is he I can't say what I want to say, but Let's like, what is he doing? Eat a pudding cup, and I will decide <laughs> if I would do all that. <laughs> Can I see something first? A pudding cup, or like one of those Jello fruit cups with the fruit in it. That's the second round pick. Yeah, because that's gonna really like. If you could do that, she's gonna fucking. Yeah, I'll show Here, up. She's I gonna think have, that everyone should be I'd be, Jackie a bride. I'd be in, in the words of Nini, I'd be a bridemaid. Like I'd understand. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what's but going as of on. Right though. now, I'm like, he's not that fine. He's not that like he's he's good. I do like his attitude kind of. Like I know that I said that because I had to pretend that I didn't like it back then. But like now I'm a little bit more open now and I like it. <laughs> what do you, what kind of attitude does he does he give you? Like I don't give a fuck about anything, and I like and you that. like that because you like a man who's like it's me and you, mm-hmm. and it's like no, it's not. I like I'll snatch shit. you up so fast. I love that shit. No, that but shit. listen, I like it, but I also want to be able to like go the fuck off, like Mama D on New Year's <laughs> Eve when she's like shooting up in the air, I and then everybody saved. gets quiet. Like I want to be able to do that, and I want him to be like, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I like. I like a balance of like, right. I'll fuck some shit up, but at the same time, I'm gonna let you do you. I respect your mother. Ooh, 
I love that explanation. Yes. I love that so much. Um, so what did you think of the reunion? Um, I thought it was very fake. I thought it was just very fake. What did you think that they really meant? Like, what parts of it were you like, this is too fake? I would say Jackie and Evelyn. They don't like each other. Like, I can't imagine how they would like each other. Jackie and Brandy. I can't imagine how they would make amends. Like, that's just not... It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, who else? I also feel like Brandy and Brooke. I I do think that Brooke is kind of moving a little weird when it comes to Brandy. Like, I didn't like how Brandy was like, Brandy brought up the fact that Brooke did not check Evelyn during that moment when Evelyn talked all this shit about her husband. But it's like if that's your friend, I don't know necessarily friend, though. But, but I okay, so you feel like if that's your friend and someone is talking about their partner and you know that they would, chose to stay with their partner, you should at least speak up and be like, "Hey, you know, chill on that." No, I wouldn't even say chill. I would be like, "All right, all right, like let's not like okay, like I feel like." Something. Hard because I would defend my friend, but if you are with someone who just publicly said that they fucked 300 other people that weren't you, and then this is also my friend talking about it, like it's not mm-hmm. a random bitch from the street, this is someone in my inner circle that I also feel is a close friend. It's like, it, it's him. At least don't air the about. conversation. Like, if you are going to have it, like, do more like a Jackie Christie, like, where they have to catch your ass on the phone, like, giggling about it. But don't play in my face. She didn't know that Evelyn was going to say that during the lunch. And and Evelyn felt comfortable enough to say it because she was talking with Jennifer and Brooke. And also, it's the truth. And Brooke's like, ooh. Mm. Like, I wouldn't know what to say because you're not telling a lie either. It's hard. See, but it's also okay, like I definitely get your point, but in that case, it's definitely both of them. Because Brandy also needs to stop trying to straddle the fence when it comes to her marriage. Like right. just to explain she's not making it clear. You cheated even... on you, mm-hmm. you took him back, you mm-hmm. guys worked it out. I'm gonna stick beside him. That's it. Right. Because even Brooke might not even know. Right. Okay, is she with him or is she not? Before I play Captain Save a Hole for him, like at the end of the day, mm. of course, I'm gonna defend my friend automatically. She could have did that with Brandy, but her dude that we don't even know if she's staying with because she's always like, Well, I'm moving to California with little Jason and I'm staying here, but we are also, you know, mm-hmm. talking to each other, but we are working on our marriage. So it's like, I don't know if you guys are together or not. I also think it was a little bit different though, because when Evelyn was talking about it, it was directed towards Brandy. It wasn't necessarily the guy. She was just stating, well, Brandy's worried about the wrong motherfucking thing. She needs to be worried about the husband that's cheating on her. So I feel like I kind of understand. I do understand both sides. Like, I definitely understand your point, but Mm -hmm. I kind of understand why Brandy would be like... You thought that the comment was more insulting of Brandy than it was of Jason. Yeah. Because if you had something to say about Jason, then you could have directly said, well, I don't feel like he's a good guy for Brandy. Or she could have went a little Mm -hmm. bit more lighter on her, but in like also it's like so many sides of it because Evelyn Evelyn's not really friend shit. though. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't so, know her that at all. It's a little bit different. But for Brooke, it's like I kind of understood where Brandy was coming from. And I do hope that they can move forward in a genuine space. Like I don't want them to be like, okay, we're cool, and then not be cool. Cause I have a feeling that's what happened. Cause how yeah, Brandy was like, okay, you got it, like whatever. And then Brandy was like, you're my friend and I love you and like I'm just going to keep mm-hmm. you at a, at a distance. So I'm like, oh, that's that. You know how Brandy does it. So I'm like... Chief, Brandy is at some point... You know what I had to realize about a couple of my favorites is that is at some point it's their... Mm-hmm. They're the problem. I had to realize that about Tamar Braxton and that was like a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I just had her. that conversation too. I love her so much, but it's like at a certain point, 
Do I feel like being opening. I rewatched the Tia and Tamira show too. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to clip that. I'm just going to clip that and I'm going to leave that that. We'll revisit that when Tia's show comes out. I think it's next week or in two Which I would like to clear up. People keep doing the clickbait article about how she said that her and Samir aren't as close anymore. She meant in proximity. She did not mean that they are not close in their sisterhood, which I feel like we already know that they are not that close. In their yeah, they're not. But she wouldn't publicly say that. She meant physically. I do actually think that she's publicly saying it, though. Because that was, like, just a clip of the clip. Like, I do feel like they're going to get into that. But it's Tia's show, because Tia didn't even ask Tamara to be a part of it. Tamara's like, I wasn't asked to be a part of it. And I'm like, damn, like, so I, I want to know I feel like we, if it's Taj like we'll on it. Never see her. Like, because if Taj is on it, then that's kind of fucked up. No, it's not. Because, like she said, she lives, in, Tamara lives in Napa Valley. I feel like they're pressed. Tamara lives in Napa Valley, California. Napa Valley is where they make all of the wine, okay? And this is also where Nikki Bella lives, which is why I know the proximity between Napa Valley Are they neighbors? and LA. I feel like they have to know each other. I feel like they would get along great. And if they haven't, maybe I can introduce them. But Napa Valley is a few hours away from Los Angeles. Tia lives in Los Angeles because she's a working actor, Okay. Nikki Bella explained that when her and Brie Bella were going through some stuff, it wasn't their sistership. It was because she had relocated to Napa Valley, whereas Brie wanted to stay in Los Angeles because her and Daniel Bryan were together. And it's easier to be based in Los Angeles. And it's not because they're going, they are also twins too. So it's just like, stop. Everyone just stop. Don't nod. That's so condescending. So, do you think that Tia is the problem? Because rewatching their show together, I'm like, wow. I didn't realize how much of an asshole Tia was to Tamara. And if you want to rewatch, guys, go on USA. Because that's what it's on. It's like, download the USA app on Roku. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, because Bad Girls Club is on there too. And Bad Girls on Roku. And I think I saw Tia and Tamara on Hulu at one point. Yeah, they um, took it off. You know what I can't find anywhere that's streaming? What? Twilight. <laughs> oh, baby, you should have you got. And now you have the last laugh. I have the last laugh because I got all the movies on Apple TV, Apple movies. Because when they had that special for, I think it was like fifteen ninety nine, and they you were like the, the whole Twilight Saga for fifty. I said for fifteen ninety nine, <laughs> what a deal! And guys, keep in mind that all the Medea movies are like fucking eighty dollars. I didn't get that. Oh, okay, you saw you. Were that was too much. It, I think yeah, maybe you were just saying that they had. I was contemplating. Uh -huh. But then they put Family Reunion on stars, so I'm like, don't have to do that anymore. Because <laughs> that's the, like, I just like that and the family that plays in Diary of Mad Black Woman and Big Happy Family, and that's it. But it's like, with Twilight, I like all of them equally. Except for Eclipse. Eclipse is like... Yeah, but New Moon... Like you don't understand because the other day was the first day of fall, and I'm like, and then you just see a whole bunch of fall content, or you'll just randomly yeah. see like a celebrity talk about Twilight, or you'll just go. It's just these clips on Instagram. My targeted ads are killing me. You, like they yes, have a whole Instagram page that's still active for yeah. Twilight, and, and I and follow it's the it, official and I... Twilight, and they're in everything, it. so it just makes you want to. And then they were talking about, oh, it's fall vibes, you know, the, the leaves are falling. I'm I like, think they actually have Florida. it on sale again too. Like, if it's on sale, I'm seriously like, just gonna go, buy it. Yeah, I'm I just would gonna buy it. it. Or I'm gonna, you... I'm gonna literally just log into someone's fucking, um, what's it called? The the voodoo. Or the it used to be Fandango at home. I want to log into someone's voodoo and I'm gonna buy it. Shout out to Kendrick. If you see a 1599 charge, don't I will it. recommend doing it on Apple movies though. 
Look on Apple I movies. Don't even use Apple. I'm any telling movies. you, use Apple movies because you have Apple, the Apple TV app, and you can watch it on there. On the thing is, I don't use the Apple TV app because I don't use Apple TV. But I don't you want to like the morning show? Be but able you know to what? I'm getting the 16 Pro Max out in October, so I think every time you get a new phone, you get a new like three month trial of like all these different things. The only things that I own are I own like random apps. Like for some reason, I I own like the House of Versace. <laughs> I own Step Brothers and I own um, The Little Mermaid with Hallie, of course, because mm-hmm. I wanted to like pay my money for it. I own Barbie and I own it on Prime Video and then I own it on Xfinity. The thing about Xfinity is like if I ever switch from, you know, Xfinity, which I have, you know, I use direct TV mainly, but if I never, if I ever delete the Xfinity app, it goes away with Xfinity. But if you log into certain things like Voodoo or if you log into Amazon Prime, I'm always going to have Prime. So it'll always be there. Yeah, that's why it. I do it on Apple, the Apple devices, so I can like watch it'll it. It'll always be there. It's always going to be there. It's on your iPad, it's on your iPhone, it's on your computer, it's on your TV, it's on everything. It follows you. It follows you everywhere. And I, I just own um, the Twilight movies, Precious. Mm-hmm. True Life. What? One, <laughs> I own one season of True Life. I own one single episode of Riverdale, and it's not even my favorite episode of Riverdale. And I think it's my roommate. But something, it yeah, something you the have episode. to just hold on to. Like, and the, I'll leave it at that. Like, <laughs> I'm a drunkaholic. I have to hold on to that episode. I can't lose it. So if you ever, if you guys ever take that shit down. You owe me fucking fifteen dollars. I want to make that very clear. Email me that shit in like yeah. an MP4. I'm not playing. And be like, this is it. But <laughs> that's unacceptable to snatch it down. So exactly. What were we talking about? Okay, we're on to like the basketball wise reunion was you know it was fake a little bit, and there was really nothing to talk about. Like we talked about the wedding, we talked about how you don't think that they are cool with each other. We talked about the dynamics of Brooke and Brandy and all that stuff. I'm so tired now, of Jackie we, too. Oh, okay, Jackie, you're tired. Her antics, like it's just like it's, but it's not even worth talking about because she's yeah, gonna do she's, the same thing. Yeah, she's gonna do yeah. the same thing, and I'm actually like we're gonna welcome it. Also, because you were like, well, yeah. Jackie Lee's, well, what the hell happened? Then she popped up the next week, and I felt so stupid because I was on this podcast, like, what the fuck is going on? And, and do you still, back. if like you had to choose one person to go, it would still be Brandy, right? It was still, it's going to stay Brandy. Okay. Still. Sure. She looks beautiful, though. Hair is, she too, did, like they she said, did look good. face card is, it's just as soon as she starts talking, I'm just like, I also feel like she gets over things so quick, which I, which I sometimes get because I don't like. I don't know if it it's comes from a place of show. her not wanting conflict or her just not giving a fuck. For me, it's like I don't what. care that much. It's not that she doesn't give a fuck. You can tell that it bothers her because she keeps talking about it. Yeah, and if it. And if it didn't bother her, she wouldn't be on the rocks with Jason. She would just be like, yeah, I'm with him. And that's it. And you guys, shut up. It's that she's so scared of being fired again that she's like, I want to just keep the show running. That's why she's up Jackie's ass. She can't. Yeah, because remember, she came on there. She beefed with Malaysia. Malaysia quit. And she just felt like, well, fuck. I don't have a storyline. So now she feels like, okay, Jackie is going to anchor it. And even if she doesn't anchor it, I can be I can become friends with the other woman and we'll kind of like figure it out. So that's what happened. But all right, well, wrapping it up, you were telling me about this show, yes. How to Die Alone. Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. to Die Alone, guys. It's on Hulu. And I do think it's worth a watch. You have Natasha Rothwell, who I really adore. Um, and I was happy when she announced this show. I was like, I'm really excited because I enjoyed her on Insecure. I enjoyed her on White Lotus because she's also going to be on the next season of White Lotus, I hear, too. Yes, so, back. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. But this show is just about Melissa. Uh, she works at the airport. She's navigating 
um, her love life. She's single. She's also like trying to do some self care. You could tell she's like caught up in working the same routine that she does daily at the airport. Working at the airport is not, you know, it's it's very repetitive, and that's what they're also showing. You I would too. never get tired of working at the airport, especially if you put me in you, Atlanta. Like, and then you run into people like Daddy Yankee, and like random people that you never thought you would see that's so specific and then like exactly who you're talking about ariana grande and then her hair is dry as hell and it's a red you're just like okay why do you do that every time we have a conversation about the airport you bring up ariana because they said her hair was so dry she said it because that was when she was red yeah I don't know, guys. But yeah, so she, it's very repetitive, but it kind of gives me like the last holiday and also a mix of workaholics in the last holiday. And I know those are two very strange combinations. But once you, if you watch this show, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about because it really starts when she's like, she brings this bookcase upstairs and it actually falls on her. So, um, so she dies? No, she doesn't die, but she gets hurt really a bad. Last and she like fractures her arm and shit like that. And she does view it as a last chance because she could have like fucking smushed her Easily. head or some shit. Easily. Um, but while she's in the hospital from these uh injuries, she actually meets this lady who's like right next to her, and she's an older woman. Um, and they have a conversation about life and just making life making the most out of life. And she tells uh, Melissa's character, who's Nat- who's played by Natasha Rockwell, she's like, you know, make the most out of your life. Make sure that you're having a good time because you're not going to be on this earth for a long time. And after she says that, like the next scene, the woman dies. Well, that's and the then she, she ends up throwing up on the woman. But yeah, it's a lot. Like she looks at her and she throws up on her. But she's like, okay, um, I'm going to take your belongings. because, And that's another thing. The lady gave her her belongings as well. So now she has access to her apartment. She takes her dog. And she also plans to go on a trip to Hawaii. She's like, I just want to get away. I want to go. Um, and this trip is actually supposed to be for her crush. She has a crush at the airport. It's his wedding. He's getting married to somebody else. His wedding is going to be in Hawaii. So her plan is to go to that wedding and also like do a how Stella got her groove back type of ordeal. Um, But during that time, she realizes she's like, wait, I don't have any money. So then (laughs) she realizes the lady left her debit card or her credit card. And she's like, YOLO. She Claremont Claremont twins that shit. And that's how that's how the episode ends, and she decides that she's gonna go to Hawaii. Um, so it's it's like it's it's a fun show. Um, I would highly recommend it. I think it's going in a really great direction. I'm excited to finish it, and I'm also excited to see if it gets renewed for season two. Like, I'm not sure how it's gonna end. Do you think? Um, I hope so. If you had to be honest, but do you think? That it would get renewed if you just so just talking about what you've seen so far. I think you guys so should watch the show. It's going to be on Hulu, and I think it's a. Do really you think great that it will see a season two? But guys, we have to go. <laughs> um, so make sure you check that show out. Okay. We love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.